Is he really? Yeah. Oh my god. He's a big fluffer. I know. We saw him yesterday. This is like a brown mountain. The rest have been gray. He's very cute though. He is so cute. He's a big guy. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, look at all that mud. <laughs> all that mud. And this sweet boy. Just waiting and waiting. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, no. That was a big one. Oh, no. Yeah. Here's your sweet. Oh, good girl. Oh, no, I wasn't recording. She doesn't care about me, Hi guys, it's Thursday. <laughs> that means there are very few days, one today and tomorrow of work, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, and then we are going to Florida. <laughs> so I'm like a little tiny bit stressed out about um, figuring out what to wear in Florida and what to wear for the photo shoot, wedding photo shoot and the wedding party because that dress was so messed up last week. So here's what's been going on with that. I took it to a seamstress, seamstress on Saturday and she was like, I can line it, no problem. We, she had some fabric that looked good with it. So that was fine. I put it on to show her how tight the arms were and she was just like, I, I don't even feel comfortable trying to do that in the amount of time that we have without having any extra fabric. Like the Etsy shop says that they put extra fabric in the seams, not true, not true. And they've been just really not helpful at all about it. It's like, oh well, you know, sometimes it, sometimes we get it right, sometimes we don't. What are you gonna do about it? That kind of thing, like, that's just such bad customer service. I gave you the right measurements and you made it wrong. I can see how if like I was an idiot and gave you the wrong measurement, then obviously that's my fault, but I told you how big my arms are because they're big and you made the sleeves so small even though the design of the dress is to have flowy sleeves. Like I'll put a picture in here so you can see how the sleeves are supposed to be. So I wasn't even worried about the sleeves because I was like I'll tell them how big my arms are and then they'll make them flowy like this. That did not happen. <laughs> like they're a little bit too short like lengthwise. Um, and so put, just putting on the dress like I couldn't get the thing all the way long story short uh, The seamstress wasn't willing to even try to fix the arms uh, So I started looking for a new option of something else to wear I didn't like any of my options. I'll show you the one that the things that came I ordered a tulle skirt from Amazon and a white top that I thought would look nice But I tried them on last night and Nick was just kind of like I don't know if that top is like appropriate for this party it seems just like a t-shirt which hey, buddy. 
it's not it's like a blouse material but I, I see where he's coming from so what I decided to do since um, reaching out to the Etsy shop and telling them that since I can't wear this dress for what I purchased it for can I just get some extra fabric to have the sleeves fixed so I can wear it at some point in my life and didn't just waste hundred and fifty dollars on a dress that I can't wear um, and they were like when is the wedding and I was like you clearly have no idea what's going on because we've been talking about this for a long time and the party is very soon. So I just told them May 2020 because they're clearly not very, like, not up there. So she was like, oh yeah, that's plenty of time. How many yards do you need? Usually it's $10 per yard, but we would like to offer it for free. Uh, yeah, you will because you messed up. What? And then she was like, She'd had like a little math problem that said $30 times 50% plus $5 shipping equals $20. And I was like, why would I pay $20? You just said the fabric was going to be free. So shouldn't I just be paying $5 for shipping? And they haven't responded yet. So <laughs> really not a big fan. I'm not going to leave them a very nice review. I've already left them like a very honest review, but I need to update it because their customer service is just atrocious. I'm sure they get enough business that they don't have to worry about making everyone happy, but that's just not good practice, you know, and it's really annoying. So anyway, they're going to send me, supposedly, <laughs> they're going to send me fabric to fix the sleeves. I'll just have my alterations lady that I've been talking to fix it and line it but since we're doing that I just chopped off the sleeves this morning and I'm trying to find a cardigan I just bought a cardigan on Amazon that I think I can wear because it's gonna first of all it's gonna be winter out so it's gonna be cold second of all I just kind of want to cover up all my tattoos and have it like nice clean photos um I don't know just I just want to so so that's what's happening and I just got in the mail today these uh little boob cover things that you like stick on your boob and it holds them up without a bra because let's face it strapless bras don't work <laughs> if you have any kind of a chest they don't work stick it on your boob and then lift them up so I'm on my lunch break but I really kind of want to try these see if they work so I know <laughs> and I can try my dress on without the sleeves so you can see it let's do that real quick yeah might be late going back to work so this is the dress no sleeves at least I can like put it on and it's still not lined you can see it's not too bad these little like boob patch things are they're okay, you kind of have to strategically place them though, so that they uh, aren't, you can't see them up here, you know? So, I like it. It'd be nice if it had sleeves, and they put the boob thing, like the boob cover thing, really high. This really needs to be moved down to like a normal boob area. They, I'm sure they just make these for, like, skinny people. So it's a little uncomfortable to move my arms because this is so tight and it's a little scratchy. But it's not, it's not terrible. And then also, I got, I actually wore this cardigan for our first wedding, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just ordered on Amazon one that's similar to this with the buttons but is more of like a camel color to go with. I don't know. I think it's, it's way nicer than the other dress, which I will show you. I like it. This is really pretty. I just really like that. And you can't tell that there are no sleeves when I have a cardigan on. And I don't think anyone will question the cardigan because it's winter, so. There's this one. This is such a pretty pattern. I really love it. I love the buttons. 
This is so flowy. I don't know. I really like it. I just had some excitement because there was a dog in our yard. <laughs> so this is the other outfit that I got. This skirt with this like blouse thing. comes with this sash and this is the one that Nick was kind of like I don't know the shirt just kind of looks like a t-shirt I don't know if it would be appropriate for the party that we're having um, I don't know so I I really like this skirt it's so like fun and stuff it was a little it was like $39 I think so I'm debating whether or not to keep it because do I really need this skirt? I mean, I could use it for maternity shoots or if somebody wants something for an engagement shoot, you know, it's big enough that it could fit a big person or a small person. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think. Do you have a preference, this one or the other one? Thoughts? What do you think? <laughs> Let me also show you this coat. I got this big furry coat <laughs> from a uh, new look which is a UK brand and I thought this would be fun for photos like like cozy photos you know <laughs> anyway so it's so soft it is not real fur obviously <laughs> but it's so soft and this, I haven't even worn it yet. I'm just saving it for this. So, I don't know. What do you think? Perhaps an off the shoulder look? Eh, I don't know. I'm not a, uh, a model. Anyway, what do you think of the two outfits? What do you think of this coat? It's so soft. I wanted it in black. It was on sale, so they ran out. Um, anyway, I really do need to get back to work now. Look at these babies. These are some of my babies. <sighs> I still need to pack for <laughs> Okay, first things first, go back to work. Change clothes, and then go back to work. <laughs> you imagine going to work in a tulle skirt. Thoughts and opinions. Leave them in the comments below, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Yikes. Anyway, um, good morning. I am going to end my week vlog and start my packing vlog. And I just did laundry yesterday, so I can pick what I want to take with me and then put the rest of my laundry away. Then we'll be going to Disney. So that's crazy. Stay tuned for lots and lots of Disney videos coming up. Edie, leave it. What are you doing, little trouble? Yeah, you're so cute. I'm going to sign off on this week vlog and get started on my packing. And then uh, tomorrow we fly away. So. I'm super pumped. I'm gonna be real sad when I have to leave um, my babies home, but Nick will be home with them during the week, so they'll be fine. And once I get there, it's gonna be so great. So thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed this week vlog number 20, which is crazy. If you're interested in Disney vlogs, baby names, um, that's gonna be my content for the next few weeks, I would think, maybe? I'm not really sure what the format is that I'm gonna do with the Disney vlogs, so it'll be a surprise. But if that sounds good to you, please do subscribe. You can click the little button down here, and that will prompt you to subscribe. You can also just scroll down a little bit into the description area. If the subscribe button is red, then you are not subscribed. I would love to have you as a subscriber. 
But in any case, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for Disney, thumbs up for baby name videos, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in Disney. Holy cow. First packing, then Disney. <laughs> but I'll see you real soon.